on YouTube. Um, thank you, I was playing around with this little power supply that I'm building. This is my little, uh, it's going to be my sort of linear type power supply. Very, very basic. Really, really basic. Basically, it's just going to have a volume control and some ampage at its disposal for now. But I'm just playing around anyway and um, seeing the different effects of having you know, very little capacitance. And I'm also just trying out rather than because the LM317 is great, but it's very temperature sensitive. And so I thought, well, as you can put a pass transistor on to handle the current, that will stop if it doesn't have the current going through the LM317, that will should stop a lot of the um, temperature problems and you know make it more stable and more usable like that if you're going to be uh, putting any sort of uh, current through it. But of course then I've got to keep cool the transistor that I use. Now I've opted for 2N3055 in a TO3 package and I've connected it to this heatsink because I have it already and I've not just done one because I've done two in parallel but in actual fact I've done three but I've already connected two I hope you can see that okay I've already connect, connected two I hope you can see I don't know if you can see that but it says 43 degrees on there that's because at the minute I've got 29 volts it's probably 33 volts really that's as high as I can go because one of those capacitors there is a 35 volt capacitor I think it's that one and if it goes pop well I'm sorry but um, and there's a, a load and the reason why I've used this is because you know I can't turn it up very high before it's like pulling a load of amps and all I'm trying to do really is just make sure that this can handle some amplage so let me turn on this oh, it says 0.7 and here it's not even got anything on the screen because this isn't uh, this isn't turned up at all. It's turned all the way off. But I don't know if you can see that there, but it's already pulling that. But this is quite amazing because I think my transformer is only two and a half amps. But you watch this on this as soon as I put ampage. If I just start turning it up gently. Okay, so now we're getting a little bit of a, a little bit of a glow, but we've not got enough power to put that up. We've pulled down to 20 volts there, 3.7 there. Temperature 44.5, and over here, let's try and say we're using two and a half amps. Which is really the limit I can go, you know, for my transformer, but it doesn't seem to work that, like that because I can actually turn this up and I have been. And so we pull down there to 17, we're up at 6.1 there, got a bit of a glow on. Showing that as the voltage actually on the bulb and the ampage. Um, this is connected here and this one is connected over here and I've got smoke coming so we need to turn all that down because that's what happens these wires get really 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 hot and that bit of smoke comes up I just noticed a very small amount but it's enough that I don't want to switch it down it's still got a little bit going on there I'm going to actually take the load off just by getting rid of that there that will drop down. That will shoot back up to 33. Remembering that, um, I've got a 35 volt capacitor there. <laughs> With no load, that's the voltage. But the temperature, even though the wires, yep, still really hot to touch. The temperature doesn't, it doesn't go up because it's 
The current's coming through these transistors and on this big old heatsink and two of them sharing that load as well. And uh, you know, three of them will be sharing that load. That seems to work quite well. Now I've not put it on the oscilloscope to see what sort of ripples going on there because I know it's going to look like a sine wave because I haven't got any input capacitance. You know, that's, uh, that's the best I've got. I've got some on the way and we'll see how it works from there. And also I'm going to get rid of this and just put a, a um, 240 volt, 12 volt, plus 12 volt, you know, two, two secondaries of 12 volt. Um, at 5 amps, 12 volt is at 5 amps, transformer there, uh, directly and come off 24 volts into this. Because uh, that would give me around about 33 uh, volts. But this is a high voltage uh, LM317. I think you can get like a 57 volt output with this. That'd be pretty good. And of course, I normally have something on to discharge the capacitors. Get a nice spark off it, but I won't get hit. I've got my hands on it. Hmm. So that does work really well with the pass transistors. I've got those connected. There's the emitters. And it's dead simple. You just parallel, parallel the input with the collector, parallel the output with the base um, of the LM317, and then just use the emitters of uh, of these as your positive output and have a ground connection. Voila, simple to pass tra uh, put a pass transistor on an LM317 and then you don't have to worry about any of the temperature uh, issues, well the issues that you get with uh, the temperature with the 317. I could be wrong, there could be a whole load of other things that I've missed completely, but that's the way I see it, is if that's going to be the problem to keep cooling everything if you're trying to push the ampage, just don't get that to do it get that to keep a nice steady voltage and stuff and just put the current through transistors, power transistors and a few of them on a big old heatsink right that's the first bit to this I'm going to do another bit when I've got more capacitors hope they come in real soon and another transformer to use I might do a couple of little snippet bits in between with these capacitors with another transformer and stick it up on them um, Xbox 360 supplies there wired in series yeah. anyway cheers for watching if you want to like a bit of a schematic of this it's dead simple uh, you just copy the data sheet basically and I'm going to put another capacitor on the outside of this and maybe another diode or something if I need it there. Copy the data sheet and then just put the pass transistors on, like I said, in, in series. And these transistors that I'm using as well are, I'm going to call them sort of like semi sort of matched. Matched in the means of the, the beta for each of these, the gain, whatever you want to call it, HFE, um, is pretty much the same. Like I think that's a 62, that's a 64, and that's a 67. Um, out of the sort of like you know, eight or nine of these things I've got, they're the three closest ones together. That's why I'm using them three. Okay, right. Well, cheers for watching, and uh, catch you on the next part of this.